Hello there, this is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. Welcome to another QuickBooks online tutorial video. In this video, this free tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the mileage feature, how to track mileage on QuickBooks online. So let's go to the mileage feature. There should be a link in this left hand sidebar. So here we go, mileage, and I'll click on that. There are a few ways to track mileage using QuickBooks online. Option one is to download the QuickBooks app. And on the app, it's quite self-explanatory, but on the app, you can then track when you're driving your car for the business, and that will track mileage for you. That option obviously streamlines the mileage tracking process and automates the postings to QuickBooks online. Option two is to add the mileage manually, which I'll be going through in this video. Option three is actually to keep like a CSV file of your mileage and then import that into QuickBooks Online. I'll be covering all three options very briefly in this video, but I'll mainly be showing you how to use the, the mileage feature and how to add the mileage manually. So if you want to download the app, then go ahead and do that. There is this QR code that you can use to, to go to the app. You simply just download the app, log in, and then, like I said, it's quite self-explanatory. It will post the mileage for you as you do mileage. And it works pretty well. I have clients that use the app, and it they don't seem to have any issues with it at all. So that's quite a good option. Option two is to add the mileage manually. So let, let's go into that in a moment. But this is the mileage screen. This is what it's going to look like. At the top left here, we have the mileage put into tax years. This is UK tax years. It doesn't have to show in tax years. This is just the information that's going to show on this page. As you select a different tax year or change the date, then the information posted, the mileage done, within that date is going to show on the page. There's nothing to display on either date at the moment because I haven't entered anything. If you don't want to use tax years, then there is this custom date at the bottom here. Okay, so any mileage that has been done for the business will show in this bottom section of the page. Nothing has been done, so nothing is showing. So let's start by going to the top right here. We have add trip, but there's this drop down menu we're actually going to go to manage vehicles first of all. So let's click on manage vehicles. We have two vehicles here. They both say my vehicle. These are default vehicles that are set up on QuickBooks Online. If you want to add a new vehicle, you just choose this bottom right option, add vehicle here. But let's just edit some of these. So we have my vehicle. So it's this tax year, 2023. Is it a car, a motorcycle, or a bicycle? Let's just choose a car. With the vehicle, make an model. Unfortunately, I don't have a Ferrari or Porsche or Maserati. Let's just do something simple. Let's do VW Beetle, something like that. Vehicle year. Do we own this vehicle? I.e., does the business own this vehicle, or is the vehicle leased, you choose that option, the date you purchase the vehicle, and the date of service. Now, a lot of this information is actually not needed. It does not need to be accurate in order to record the mileage. But what this is actually doing is keeping a vehicle log. It's actually keeping a fixed asset register of the vehicles. So this mileage feature is not just for tracking mileage. It will keep a log of all the vehicles that the business owns. Um, when they were purchased, if they're owned or leased, um, service dates, things like that. It's not essential, like I said, to enter all this information um, correctly in order to do the mileage, but this is going to act as like a log. And then we have some tax info down the bottom here. So if we save this, okay, we now have our VW Beetle. If I click Add Vehicle, it's the same options here, you know, whatever we put in here, if we had a motorcycle. We can just put anything in here, click save, then that motorcycle now also shows in our list. Okay, so now we have our vehicles on QuickBooks Online. 
There are some other options down here, which I'm not going to go through in great detail, but we have import trips and download trips. These are to do those other options that I spoke about, the whole app, importing through a CSV file, that sort of thing. What we're going to do is just add a trip. So if I click, click on add a trip, you put in the trip date. It's all very self-explanatory. Let's say, say this was yesterday. We did 15 miles. The start point was our office based in London. And the end point was perhaps Gatwick Airport. Was the mileage for business or personal? Ideally, everything you're going to log on here is going to be business, but you could log all mileage, both business and personal, and just the business element will be calculated for the, the expense deductions. We have business purposes. You can add more purposes, but we have four here. Let's just say meeting with client. We choose our vehicle, so it's going to be the VW Beetle. If we click on round trip, it's actually going to create two trips. So London to Gatwick and then Gatwick to London and do 30 miles in total. If we don't click round trip, it will just post what I've created here. So when recording mileage, you only have to do one way and then select round trip. If I save this, some things are now happening. So you can see we have a mileage deduction up here, calculated for the trip done. We have one business trip and we have our mileage showing down here. So the more we add, the more information is going to show on this page. If you are going to track personal mileage as well as business mileage, so if you have say company cars that people are using personally as well as for the business, then you would probably want to track both personal and business mileage. If that is the case and there are these tabs here that separates both business and personal. There's nothing showing personal. I haven't entered anything yet. So let's add another trip our trip, this one was done, say, two days ago, the 14th of May. Distance, 35 miles. Start point, I don't know, let's just make this up. Paris to somewhere else in France. This is a business trip. Business purpose, meeting with client, ride share, picking up goods, delivery drop off. If there was another purpose, then just type it in. If it's not showing this list, let's say this was a meeting with supplier or employees, something like that. You can just type it in, click add, and then that will show in the list going forward. Vehicle, let's say it was VW Beetle again, and it was a round trip. I'll now save this. Once again, these figures are changing. We have even more showing. So this feature is doing a number of things. Number one is it's keeping a log of all the mileage done, business mileage and personal mileage, or just one or the other, depending on what information you enter. Number two, it's acting as a register for the vehicles that the business owns or leases. And number three, it's calculating the mileage that can be claimed. So if you're using personal vehicles for the business and you can claim mileage a mileage expense, it's calculating that for you. This will not post to the accounts. This is a totally separate feature to the accounts. So adding a vehicle here will not add it to the balance sheet as an asset. And calculating the mileage by entering mileage and this figure showing here is not showing as an expense on the profit and loss. Those things have to be entered separately. So it could be that you do your custom date for May once all of May has been recorded, all the mileage has been logged onto QuickBooks. You see the deduction, you can then just journal that in to the accounts. And then all the mileage is entered for June and you can journal that in to QuickBooks for June. Hopefully this video has helped. Thank you so much for watching. I have loads of other free videos for QuickBooks Online, but all accounting packages. You can even learn bookkeeping, payroll. It's all for free. I'm not trying to sell you anything at all. You can learn financial analysis, business planning, Sage, Zero. the list goes on and on. With QuickBooks Online, just click on the QuickBooks option, scroll down. All these courses and all these videos are all for free. Just click on the link, it will take you to the video, and you can learn all this for free. There's no registration required, no fee at all. Thank you for watching. Please like, 
please subscribe. Please leave a comment in the section below. Just saying thank you means a lot. Any interaction I get with this video is much appreciated.